press control alt and t and the keyboard you get the terminal just now to create a directory type mk first of all just to know where is our current location just type pwd and press enter it signifies the location i'm in the home of my user the username has been displayed and now i just go to the listing where it lists different items inside the home user to list it we write ls to list with details we write ls minus l now to go to the desktop it is easy to work with desktop then we write city desktop then to create a folder in desktop for example to create a folder suppose videos over here just type videos a folder has been created let's check it out folder has been created yeah there's a folder name videos now to make another to go inside the videos folder and another to make a chain of folders over here just go to cd videos now to make a folder inside lesson one say for instance lesson one just to make a folder inside the lesson one just go to first of all go to the folder lesson one cd lesson one and just to go to go inside to create a directory mkdir lesson two to go inside lesson two just type to go just back cd space we went inside the videos we went back to the videos out from the lesson one now we can create lesson two separately as well mkdr lesson two lesson two this is a separate directory inside the videos folder not inside the lesson one now similarly going inside the lesson now we want to go inside the lesson one and inside the lesson two folder of lesson one just check it out l a s s o and lesson c d lesson one to know what is listed over the lesson one just type there is there are some folders just lesson two is inside lesson one it showed this with the details now to go inside the lesson two lesson two folder we'll just press enter we entered in the lesson two now for example we want to make a we want to go back to the videos folder just type cd dot dot we went back from lesson two to lesson one again cd dot dot from lesson We went to the videos folder for example we want to remove the lesson 2 which has been created just out of the lesson 1 just we write rmdir is a code to remove the folder or directory now we can see the there is a folder name videos we had created lesson 1 and lesson 2 inside but we have removed the lesson 2 
in within the videos folder now inside the lesson one we have lesson two we ha which we had created earlier yes it's empty now we are going to just work out in the lesson two folder just go to the lesson one directory just enter inside the lesson 2 of lesson 1 directory just now first program z edit z edit first dot f9 t and working side by side now program my first first program then implicit non then signify the integer integer a then print star comma a then suppose a is equal to 5 4 a is equal to 4 then print star comma a then end the program and the program and program in program then save this just check it out it has been saved over here inside the videos we had created lesson one inside the lesson there is lesson two this first step and it has been saved over here now we want to execute the program just going on the terminal z4 run first dot f9 t and press enter there are no errors if there are errors then errors will be listed dot slash a dot out to show the result yeah we had written 4 over there then it displayed 4 now just copy the file and just we type cp first dot f90 and to make a second file out of the first little bit upgraded one second dot f90 and press enter we go to the second one and z edit z edit second dot f90 to work side by side type and and just press yeah there was first now we have second now just to work with the second program just a little bit upgraded one a and b then go on with a is equal to four b is equal to seven b is equal to seven then type print uh, just to type D is equal to A plus B. The second program is supposed to add the two numbers, just A plus B, then we write a print star a print star this little bit nice program this the the sum of two numbers and
b is t then just end the program save it if there are errors if there are errors then it can be displayed it will be displayed in the terminal if none then the program can be executed pretty fine just compile the program second dot f90 there are no errors then dot slash a dot o u t out as usual the sum of two numbers four and seven is eleven it's so the sum of two already defined numbers four and seven is eleven yes now we just little bit make the program advance just copy the program cp second second at f90 and go on with the third dot f90 and just type it just go in the third f90 read it read it third dot f90 and yeah the third is also similar to the second but just we change the coding here we had already defined now we want the computer to ask us so how we can do it is print uh, a star comma please mention two numbers of your choice two numbers of your choice then read star comma star a comma b then d is equal to a plus b the sum of two numbers a and b is d just now save this is our third program this this is our this is our third program now just save it if there are errors errors will be displayed if none then errors won't be displayed just go with the run third dot f90 and press enter there are no errors dot slash a dot out 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 then it asks two numbers of our choice let's write five and nine it gets 14 now similarly let's increase the place value on 11 and 45 it gives the sum similarly let's increase the plus value 119 and 290 it gives the number similarly let's increase 15643 5, one five six seven three and five four six seven three the sum of two numbers randomly chosen it's the sum is given here this is pretty fine it gave our sum we had created a simple program to add any number of our choice we can do on with this multiplication division subtraction and so on to clear the terminal just write clear and to go out of the terminal just exit it Price exit 